Hello YouTube, this is a video review of the Nasisque ROM for the Droid Razor HD. Let's have a look. As you see, this is the stock lock screen. It keeps it. Here it is. So, it's buttery smooth. What I like the most is no more quick settings that really annoys me it could be handy but I just don't like it my personal opinion let's see the notifications the ROM normally does not come with the toggles you could turn that you could keep them or take them away it's your choice let's have a look at text messaging I like the text messaging um, I like the theme the colors I like how stock looks. I don't like the stock um, Joy Razor HD messaging app. I think it's ugly. This is how it looks. 4.2.2 keyboard with the swipe thing. Works pretty good. Let's test it out. Hey. There. Oh, I messed up the last one, but yeah, I'm doing this on camera. So we saw it, that works pretty good. Let's go to the phone dialer. Dark with cyan and blue theme. I like it, it looks really nice. Recent, you just swipe. Let's have a look at contacts. Stock, ICS. Well, jelly bean contacts. Um, the app drawer. Oh, one thing to keep on mind. Um, the you will for this ROM, you will need to be rooted with Moto Chopper. I'm sure there's other root methods that will work, but I rooted my phone with Moto Chopper, so it works totally fine. I'll have a link in the description to for the model chopper file so this is the the app drawer widgets keep scrolling let's have a look at the camera this is the 4.2.1 camera 4.2.2 sorry camera um, it has photo sphere that neat feature I find it useless but it's just it's fun to have it. It's, oh sorry. So yeah, it has panorama, video recording and video um what's it called? Photo capture. Everything works fine. It also includes the stock model blur camera, so I think that's pretty nice. Just in case you don't like the the other camera. It comes with the stock ICS browser, which I really like. I honestly don't like Google Chrome. I think it's not ready. This one's really smooth. Let's go to a web page, for example. Let's go to phonedog.com. There. I am running on Wi Fi right now. The 4G and everything on this phone works pretty good. Wi-Fi works fine, just as the stock bra stock ROM. 4G signals all right. Uh, pulled out the mobile version, but you see it works smooth. No lag on scrolling. Everything works okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's enough of the browser. Oh. Which I really like my favorite part of I just, I just think it's smooth and neat it's my favorite part yeah. let's go back this ROM also comes with Google Chrome well I really don't care for it it's just there I just don't use it let's go back Let's see what else this ROM comes with. The regular files app, regular Stockholm gallery app, 
that every Joy Razor HD has. Um, email app, Gmail, all of those Google apps at the bottom. Yeah, most of this stuff I installed. CC, Smart Actions, Super User. I believe Super User came installed. I don't. Um, I don't remember. I'm not sure if I. Let me check if I download it. App info. Um. Yes, this ROM comes with Super User, as we just saw. It comes. It also comes with Titanium Backup. So you could say files, apps. Um. Some. This is the how you tweak your notification bar oh sorry for that um, power toggles CC home screen widgets notification widgets this configure I could enable this what this does is well I don't find a use for it well let me see uh, let me try that one one more time well, I don't really find a use. It it puts a, like a battery percentage meter on the le top left side of the notification bar, but I find it useless since this ROM already has a battery meter over here in the right top corner where the battery percentage is at. So we could configure this. We could add the notification toggles, or you could customize the background, the transparency, the colors. It's pretty neat as you see well I just took mine off let me put them back on there there's my toggles disable them and enable them as you like I like an enable I think they're pretty pretty useful t feature well we there's really not much to see here um, let's jump into settings this is the stock jelly bean settings. Nothing new in here. Everything what a normal normal jelly bean ROM would have. Let's go to about phone. CC version 4.1.2. It doesn't show the the name of the ROM, that's interesting, but yeah, this is the Nesquale, the Nesquay ROM, so I hope that's how you say it, yeah, see, Jelly Bean, in order to get this ROM, you will need to be rooted, I already said that before, in, earlier today in the video, you will need to download safe strap re safe sorry if I said it wrong safe strap recovery I will have a link in the description for the download let me show you how to how would that work I'm gonna turn off my phone let's wait a minute over here so yeah Safe strap is like a, it's a recovery. You don't have to have your bootloader unlock. That's a good thing. But you could you could flash 4.1.2 ROMs, which is pretty neat. I think 4.2.2 ROMs are not like fully ready for this phone yet. So yeah, that's pretty good to have safe strap. Let's turn on the phone. Oh, I, I get this sign because um, I unlock I unlock my bootloader, but you could take it away. If y'all want the video on how to get rid of that logo you get for the warning unlock bootloader, just comment in the video and I'll post a quick video on how to do that. So you see, this is Safe Strap Recovery version 3.1. Point one, three point eleven. Sorry, it's like a, it's made by Thorpe Recovery, which is used for 
so you could download 4.1.2 ROMs it's like a different kernel I have the stock kernel right now 4.1.2 kernel yeah so this is how you do you have I have my ROM slot so that's how I do it in let's reboot the phone Let's wait a minute here. So yeah, I'll have the I'll, I will have the download link for this ROM in the description also. So I hope you guys like this video and and I hope this video helped you out too. But yeah, thanks for watching this YouTube, and I hope y'all have a good day or a good night, whatever time y'all. You guys are at, so yeah, goodbye.